Ladies and gentlemen, we please welcome Matt Green. I'm Matthew Green. I'm from Philadelphia. I came late to music, I guess. I, well, I always wrote before I started playing an instrument, and then I was in chorus and marching band, and I finally got a guitar when I was about 19 or 20, and then uh, taught myself and started writing pretty quickly, and have been doing it ever since. It was actually a gift from a friend, and it was a green guitar, which was um, pretty hokey. <laughs> um, I mean, a, a, a very, I was very grateful to have it, but um, being Matthew Green. I started by learning covers, but it, it, it happened pretty quickly. Like, I got like a well of chords, I guess, to draw from, and then it felt very natural once I started playing and then transformed these poems to lyrics and I just kind of nailed it together. My first gig was through this New York Songwriter Circle um, and my first gig was at CBGB's in New York when I was living there. So that was really cool and nerve wracking. A huge group of people that I worked with came out and it was really moving like I was like I mean everyone was really supportive and it was awesome it was awesome it's kind of twofold I, I often write down lyric ideas and see if that will work with something and a lot of times it, it doesn't anymore <laughs> but more often than not as soon as I picked up a guitar, um, I'll just be noodling and it'll come from that and then I'll go to the page more. I went to a songwriting camp in Oregon in 2012 and it was just kind of mind-blowing and I just kind of took everything in and it really changed the way I edit and changed the way I feel about the music community as a whole and, and just yeah it was an incredible experience but I, I think I've become a better editor I, I feel like it's a lot more about the craft than it ever was before like am I telling the story here like is, is my point getting across I'm just more clear about what works and what doesn't So now we're working on what is going to be called Tide Pool, I believe. Um, I did have a big group of songs that, that had, there were a lot of um, nautical themed things going on, but a lot of those have been cut. Still felt that Tide Pool was where everything was, where all this gathered. I'm not sure how they relate to each other, actually. I think they're lighter than any of my previous work. There's like a little bit of flirtiness to some of the songs. I'm excited to get these songs down because that's another thing I feel like they need to have a home. <laughs> I feel like I can't get to another creative level if, if there are these songs that are just kind of out there. Uh, we're here today in South Philly at Philly Sound Studios, uh, recording drums for the new EP, Tie Pools. We're working with Mike Riley, who I played with a, a bunch in the past, and he plays a lot all over the country. He's excellent. Matt and I met a few years ago. Um, a mutual friend introduced us. Uh, her name's Sarah Glico, and uh, she called me up, and we got a little gig together at the North Star Bar. And um, Matt and I have been friends ever since, and I was very excited to get a call to come in and work on Tide Pools with him. Mike and I met previously and discussed um, 
what we wanted to accomplish. I'm hoping we have some time to just throw a lot of ideas at the wall and see what sticks. I'm looking forward to it. Since our last session, everything's starting to take shape and it's really exciting in a completely different way than I could have anticipated from just me and my guitar and, and there are new threads coming in and out and it's just getting to be really exciting to see where everything's leading to. This is my first time recording at Philly Sound Studios. I had attended a show here a couple of years back and I was um, looking forward to coming back because I remembered this great room uh, with high ceilings and just good energy. It was very, very leisurely, which is really important. Uh, you know, we learned some new tunes and it was really fantastic. I think we got a little more done than maybe we even expected to get done. Today has been awesome. It's been very easy. I mean, it's just been really comfortable and, and um, I think we got some great work done. Um, I'm kind of over the moon with where we are right now. I think we're heading in the right direction. Everything feels really good. I think they're all pretty unique, like there's a song about, that is just kind of like a flirty song about a crush, that is kind of a, like, you know, a bit of some kind of like vampire imagery going on, and there's a song about mortality, <laughs> um, which also feels fun to me too, it's like, a, it's, about a, it's about a birth and a, and a death happening in, in, um, in the 4th of July, and, uh, so it's a little bit about everything. And, it might just be a bottle of everything. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.